Hey y'all, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is LaDonna and I am a brand new homeschooling mom. So if you're new, uh, welcome. Thanks for stopping by to hang out. Uh, today I just wanna talk a little bit about uh, our very first week of homeschool. Um, today is Sunday uh, and we just got home from ch church a few minutes ago and uh, I just wanna take this time to give a little bit of update. So, uh, <laughs> It was our very first week of homeschool, and by God's amazing grace, it was a good week. Um, for those of you who are new, I felt like the Lord was um, doing a work within our family and within our hearts back in April. Uh, he was leading us down this road, so we've spent many weeks and months in prayer and preparation, and we're finally here. So anyway, um, I want to talk about the first week and what I have learned. Um, my phone, my phone just did something, but we're just gonna keep going. Hey, this is it, this is this is real. Y'all know my struggle with technology. But anyway, um, what worked, what um, I'm already changing, and what I kind of have some concerns about and how I'm going to approach that. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump in. I'm on my front porch. People might peek through my blinds or the door window, but we're just going to keep going. So what I am loving right now is my homeschool planner. Can you guys see that? I found this planner online from, let me go ahead and turn this page. It's called the wellorderedhomeschool.com and um, the lady who created this and printed this, her name is Caroline Allen. So uh, it was made right here in the US um, and it was printed in Missouri so I couldn't resist. But anyway, I don't know if you can see it. Can you see how thick it is? Uh, my only complaint so far is that it doesn't have any tabs so I just kind of made my own tabs. But um, let me just show you what I'm loving and why I'm loving it. I can do a more in-depth review of this but just for the sake of time so right here here's our month of August we have a page a little quote and then there's a month overview just like a lot of other planners and then you have the month laid out and then it does a weekly overview for each week and I love that so much so just so you guys can see this was the overview for the week, and then this was our week. So how I plan to plan, Lord willing, um, I am going to write down what we do on a daily basis. Now before we started our homeschool, what I did was um, I used... Uh, I think her name is Megan Phillips. She's over at Homeschool 101. She has some um, just free uh, templates. She's got some, uh, I'm trying to think of what she uses, uh, Excel, I think. Anyway, she has a program or a template um, and she created a year at a glance. And basically is you take uh, a week at a time. So that's how I planned our school year. I just look at the week. I know what we need to do and what we accomplish and finish. I write it down right here. What I also love is in the very back, there is a habit tracker for mom. So you can kind of see that. Um, I love this because there are some things that I do personally. Uh, obviously, you know, there are things that I can't do every day, but I want to do them as often as I can and as much as possible. So it's just a great way for me to keep track. And now that we're kind of getting back into a rhythm of life, I wanted to make sure um, I was getting back into a personal rhythm as well. So this is just a great resource. I love it. It has been so helpful to me. Okay, curriculum. What, what am I, well, let me tell you what I've already changed. So in our morning basket is whenever we do our Bible. Um, and we also have uh, a missionary study. Um, and that's also when we do current events. So Bible time. Um, I don't know if you remember when I did uh, a 
I told you I should we share curriculum choices for my fifth grader and I talked about how with my third grader we were going to use the level one more than words well just um just praying and thinking I felt like the Lord wanting wanted me to go ahead and get another level one for my son instead of a level two I was originally gonna do a level one for Annabeth and a level one for day or in a level two for David but the more I got to thinking and praying the more I realized um, that they were gonna be doing that separately and we weren't gonna be able to do that as a group and I really wanted to do it as a group so he, my son is a fifth grader and he has a level one um, I, I don't I don't think that that is a big deal because this really isn't um, you know it's not it's not their core curriculum this is this is Bible uh, and I, I just feel like when it comes to scripture when it comes to theology when it comes to doctrine you know if we're not explaining it in a way that a six-year-old can understand it then we're doing it wrong so I don't have a problem with simplifying it and simplifying it in a way that we can all understand and it's actually been a really good thing because we've had some really amazing discussions like this week we talked about uh, tr the Trinity um, and how God is three in one and then we did a character study on what it means to be humble so it was just really really good we're really loving it but that is the change I've already made both of my kiddos are on level one for more than words um, instead of my third grader being level one and fifth grader being level two we're both on level one so we really like it it's really fun um, and it has just sparked incredible conversation so what else are we loving we're loving our missionary study pretty incredible so this is a missionary study it focuses on 12 different mi missionaries and it is a 36 week curriculum so this week and then for the next two weeks we're going we're talking about Hudson Taylor and it has just been phenomenal I really love um, just we, we're reading a book but then there are also uh, just different activity pages and this past week uh, the my kiddos got to learn about China and they got to learn about the different religions there and the languages that they speak and you know where they are in the world and their flag and those kinds of things so it just kind of makes it more real and relatable uh, for my kiddos so we have really enjoyed that um, and of course current events it's you know it's current events um, we're having good conversation you know at first they were kind of like do we have to do this but you know I told them how it was just part of their job to know what was going on in the world and uh, it's just a way for us to better love those that are around us when we are aware so that's our morning basket um, as far as our core curriculum, what are we loving? What do I want to show you first? I'm just going to go ahead and jump in with English. So I'm doing um, BJU Press with both of my kiddos. This is the teacher's manual for my third grader. And then, of course, uh, I have one for my fifth grader. But we are loving this. This is amazing. Um, it is just so incredible. Just the teacher's manual itself. Um how clear uh, it is everything that I need to say is there everything that I need to teach is there it doesn't leave me uh, wondering or questioning there are just in, in, incredible extra resources that are available um, and it's just so simple it's simple for me it's simple for my kiddos um, and it has not been a struggle this is amazing and I'm so glad we went with this um, Lord willing if this is homeschool if if it's something we continue with I can see us using this for a very long time but just this week this is gonna be a very good fit for um, our homeschool so we are loving that what else are we loving um, let me just show you. I'm going to show you our writing. Um, I picked up one of these for each of my kiddos. Um, I don't know if you can see it. It's the Evan Moore. Uh, it's the Daily Six Trait. And we got the one for writing. Um, we are really enjoying this too. This is gentle. It is simple. It is straight to the point. Um, and it is understandable. So 
I'm really enjoying that. You know, I just want to make sure that I don't miss uh, writing. I want to make sure we're spending um, a little bit of extra time on it just because I know in third grade that's whenever um, writing starts to get a little bit more intense. And then for my fifth grader, I just want to maintain what he's already learned. So just a great tool, great resource. Um, what I added... <laughs> So for math, uh, both David and Annabeth are doing teaching textbooks and we love it. It is perfect. Um, for their uh, rhythms, I don't want to say schedule, uh, I want to say their rhythms. So David starts out with math and then I do English and reading with Annabeth and then they flip. Um, Annabeth, while she's doing math, I'm doing English and whatever extra I need to help David with. So it's just been really great for me. I'm getting um, to have that one-on-one -on -one with both of them. So, but I will say what I have noticed with um, Annabeth and, and even David, just with them getting out of school in March, um, there are some things that they forgot. So uh, before they both jump onto teaching textbooks, I just went ahead and bought each of them these uh, math skills. This is the Harcart from Harcart Family Learning. So second grade, fourth grade. I hope that this isn't backwards. Um, but you can see that I have a third grader and a fifth grader. I just wanted to make this simple and easy um, and just to, to kind of refresh uh, those concepts. Um, so hopefully as they move forward with teaching textbooks, it won't be frustrating. Math is definitely where they're both stronger. So I'm, I'm confident in, in, in their ability to move forward, but just to kind of boost their confidence as they adjust to teaching textbooks and as they're learning these new concepts. I just thought it would be good for to to, to refresh for them uh, what they learned last year. So that is for math. Um, this is not part of our core curriculum. I just wanted to share it because David and Annabeth, they love this so much. We um, we do a read aloud. We've been doing read alouds. We've been doing read alouds for the last month and a half. Um, and if I'm not reading it, then we're doing it on the Kindle. Well, when I'm reading, they're usually coloring, but whenever I pull it up on the Kindle, uh, they ask for, excuse me, these sticker books. I don't know if you could see them. Uh, brain game sticker numbers. I've got and the animal one and the nature one and they love these. They ask for these. Um, they take time. <laughs> I was trying to figure out the right word. That, forgive me for the, for the, uh, Look, I'm now I'm getting all tangled up. We're just going to move on. They they just love it. They ask for this. They take their time. It holds their attention. They work really hard. Look, I was trying to find one they've they've both already done. So this one is Annabeth's. So just so you can kind of see get the idea, here's a rabbit. Uh-oh, I just dropped all that. And then here is a bird. So basically the idea is they have a picture and it's filled with numbers and then they go to the back of the book and they find the stickers that go with it and they find the number and they go over and they uh, just fill in the picture so it's it, it it looks simple but it's not but it's not too complicated uh, for them to to not try I don't know if that's the right word like they're just not gonna give up as easy um, it's doable but they have to think but both of them are really loving these I found these at Rainbow Resource I think um, and they weren't expensive I think I paid ten dollars I mean it's pretty thick so you can kind of see uh, just to give you an idea lots of different lots of different um, pictures that they can create Okay, let me pick this up because that's going to drive me crazy. All this stuff falling down. I'm sorry. Look, we're just going to roll with it. We're just going to keep going. What has kind of been hard, um, not hard, hard's not the right word because I don't, wanna, I don't want you to think uh, that it's bad because sometimes we associate bad with hard. Um, it's just been a little bit of an adjustment. Um, 
for uh, history and science, I chose the Life Packs by Alpha and Omega Publications. Um, and David and Annabeth both have history and science. Now we're loving the science. The science is great. It's perfect. Um, it's something that I do with them, but like there was a moment this week where I kind of needed both of them to do it on their own and that wasn't a problem. So that is going to work. But the history one for my son, this is the first unit. Um, it's pretty intense pretty intense. Um, he's, he's doing it and he is able to complete the assignments at the end, but it is a lot of reading and I have just noticed after three days of doing it, he has, he's starting to dread it. So I reevaluated yesterday um, and what I am going to do is I am actually going to use this as a uh, just a group you know something that all three of us can do together I'm gonna take his and I'm gonna take hers hers is more geography um, and I'm just gonna combine them and we're gonna do all of the lessons together because the material is good the material is solid what um, my fifth grader is learning it's just reading this type of information um, because it's it, it, it starts it starts with the explorers and it it goes all the way to where we are right now currently in America um, I mean it is American history uh, so I just think if we could do it as a group he's he would get more from it um, and then also Annabeth hers is geography so I really think that he would benefit from that just like she would benefit from what he's learning so we're just gonna make this a group study we're gonna keep it but we're just gonna use it in a different way um, I really don't want to have to buy new curriculum um, I will if we need to but just for the sake of let's let's use it but let's try to use it in a different way and we're gonna see where it goes so I think I've showed you all of my goodies I'm just trying to look but anyway that's where we are week one was a great week overall I learned a lot um, about <laughs> my kiddos they learned a lot about me I learned a lot about how they learn I learned a lot about um, you know my teaching style um, and just the commitment and um, I can already see a difference after five days so I'm really excited about that really hopeful really looking forward to it um, but anyway uh, thanks for stopping by I hope that this encouraged you I hope that this inspired you and um, I hope that we can spend some more time together so uh, I really don't have any videos um, planned after this one but um, I'm sure I'll see y'all soon bye